you don't appreciate what people say. You don't value it. You don't respect it. You just look at things in terms of superficial materialistic and how it makes you feel. I think um, I think having a purpose is that thing that that makes us tick, that gets us up every day and gets us over the hump of opposition and adversity. And the reason that I champion adversity and opposition is because I think for the most part in life, people pretty much know what to do when things go right, right? Like when things go right, they know how to feel, they know how to act, how to react. But it's when that opposition and that adversity comes and it creates a level of misunderstanding, right? Now the vision is blurred. Now you don't have clarity about what you're supposed to do. Now you question if your existence matters. And I think when you have a purpose, it's powerful because in the midst of the opposition, it makes you realize that you've been put here for a certain reason. And so me, once I tapped into my purpose of once I thought it was football, right? But when I started speaking, I'll never forget the day I got the exact same feeling backstage that I used to get before I ran out on the field to play football. And that's when I knew like, this is my purpose. This is what I've been put here to do. And so the opposition, adversity, the challenges, is just a part of the process. It's gonna make me a better person. But my purpose, I can't let anything stop or detour me from tapping into that every single day because the key with purpose is, I firmly believe every person's purpose is tied to somebody else's purpose and destiny. And so your purpose, my purpose, is tied to somebody else. Like when I speak, when I do what I do, like people say, oh, man, man, I really needed to hear that, right? That helped me do this. That helped get me through this. That helped me with this. That's my purpose being tied to other people's purpose, destiny, beliefs, and dreams. That's the power and magic of purpose, right? I don't think it can be a purpose without being tied to other people's purpose, destiny, dreams, and aspirations, right? I think that's the power in it. But realizing it is another thing. That thing that not only feels right, that thing that when you do it, it impacts the lives of other people. Like, prime example, you guys in, in the videos that you create, right? The platform that you've been blessed with, that helps people, right? That serves as a blessing of people, right? That gets people through challenges, right? And it's a video, right? But everybody can't do the video the way that you guys do the video. Everybody doesn't feel as if that's their purpose to do these videos, put them out to let them impact the world. Everybody don't view it that way. And so I think when you look at it and you assess the situation or whatever you're doing, I think on the other end of purpose, you have to look at it and count the cost and say, is what I'm doing helping people, right? And I think when you view it that way and you can see it visibly, I think then you know you're in line with your purpose, all right? If I was just speaking to speak and it didn't touch anybody or people would hear me and be like, oh, okay, it's not my purpose. But when I speak and somebody say, hey man, that helped me get through this, that got me through this, I got my mother over cancer, that helped my son get through this, that helped me with my marriage. I'm in line with my purpose. It's humbling, man. It's humbling. Uh, because when you think about it, Nobody has to say to me, like, thank you. Nobody has to say, man, that video really helped me and my relationship with my son. Nobody has to say to me, like, man, I showed this to my staff. Like, they don't have to do that. Like, people are grown. Like, you guys didn't have to come down and do this. You didn't, right? You can stay in your pocket, do what you do, create great videos, help people. You never had to say, hey, Ink, man, we want to do this put out a project, be pretty cool. You don't have to do that. And so for me, it's being aware that what I'm doing is a lot greater than me. It's bigger than me. You remove the ego from it. You remove the eye from it. You remove the desire from it, right? And then you're left with your purpose and what you feel you've been put here to do. And so when people say, hey man, I really appreciate what you do. If you feel as if that's your purpose and your reason for living and why you do what you do, I think you accept it in a different way. Right. And so for me, I like to call it just destiny moments. Right. When I bump into somebody in the airport and they say, hey, man, I really need to 
talk to you about what you said when I'm like, thank you, right? I bump into somebody out in the street, man, I really need to, I'm like, man, thank you, right? Because I realize what I do is bigger than me, right? If I was just an ego driven, that thought, oh man, I'm, what I do, I'm just bad, right? You don't appreciate what people say. You don't value it. You don't respect it. You just look at things in terms of superficial materialistic and how it makes you feel, right? But I think when it's your purpose, you think about how does it make other people feel? Hey, how you doing guys? Inky Johnson here. Just got done, man, doing an interview with my guys, the Mulligan Brothers. We had a great time. I appreciate their platform and what they do. Most importantly, I respect and I admire it. Take care. Peace.